Hi everyone, this is Mr. Krieger. I'm going to show you a practice problem that's similar to number 18 on the study guide, the one about displacement. So I'm going to do this without a ruler and protractor, and you might want to do this on your own after you watch this video to see if you get a good answer. This is a made-up problem similar to number 18. Gretel walks 30 meters east, then 60 meters northeast, then 120 meters south. So we want to chart her journey and see where she ends up. Step A, pick a drawing scale and write it down. Let's use, these all are divided by 30, but that's a kind of large scale. How about 10? How about um, one drawing centimeter equals 10 meters? So here's the scale. One drawing centimeter equals 10 meters. Okay. Now, I'm going to do this without a ruler, but you should use a ruler. So first, she, she walks 30 meters east. With this scale, that would be 3 centimeters. So with the ruler, you would draw this. This arrow is not very thick. Let's make that a little thicker. With a ruler, you should draw this vector 3 centimeters to the east. She next walks 60 meters northeast. So she turns northeast. And you should use a protractor to draw a 45 degree angle. If you need help with protractors, ask your teacher before next the end of next week. And with a ruler, draw six centimeters. So I'm estimating here, but I'm guessing it's it's about like that. I'll say it again. You have to draw this with a ruler and a protractor. This is just an estimate because I don't know how to do rulers and protractors with screen recordings. From there, Gretel turns south for 120 meters. That's 12 centimeters, which will be twice the length of this vector. With a ruler, you would draw 12 centimeters, and it looks something, I'm guessing, about like that. Okay, we have done A, the drawing scale is right here. B, we just represented her journey with displacement vectors. You will use ruler and protractor. I didn't. Now we're on C, draw the resultant total displacement vector. Displacement is where she started to where she finished. So let me get a different style for vector here. Where she started to where she finished. And you must have an arrow at the end of this displacement vector. It's not just a line, it shows direction. This is the net displacement vector. Let me just move this over. I love working with Apple Works. Okay. D, measure the total displacement vector with a ruler and protractor. Yet again, I don't have one. You should measure the length of this line and with a protractor, I would measure that angle. Now, I happen to have computed this ahead of time. So I'm going to tell you what the answer is, even though mine might not be to scale. The actual answer is net displacement equals 106 meters and 47 degrees below east. So this angle right there, this angle here, if you draw this perfectly to scale, should be 47 degrees. Uh, there we go. Um, that's it. So if you measure the length of this with a ruler and it's done perfectly, this would be uh, 10.6 centimeters long. So you might want to try this on your own with a ruler and protractor and see how close to these two numbers you get. Thanks for watching.